Hello everyone and welcome to Kiru's online lectures. I am Kira Jamtani and today's topic is name reactions part 2. So the name reaction, the first name reaction is Friedel-Crafts alkylation reaction. So benzene this is benzene when treated with alkyl halide that is CH3Cl in presence of anhydrous aluminum chloride we get toluene so here what happens h and cl are removed similarly if we have this is benzene and if we take ethyl chloride same in presence of anhydrous alcl3 we get ethyl benzene now in place of benzene if we have chlorobenzene so in chlorobenzene when alkylation friedel craft alkylation takes place because cl is ortho para directing so we get ortho methyl we get ortho chloro toluene so it is like this similarly the next product we get para chloro toluene Here, because Cl is ortho para directing, therefore we get ortho para derivatives. Here, para isomer is the major product which is formed. Similarly, if we have methoxy benzene, and when it reacts with CH3Cl in presence of anhydrous AlCl3, we get again OCH3 is ortho para directing. so we get two methoxy toluene this is minor product plus we get four methoxy toluene that is major product next is friedel craft acylation so when friedel craft acylation we see so in this what happens we have benzene in friedel craft acylation either the reaction is performed with ch3cocl or it is performed with acetic anhydride ch3co ch3coo here what happens h and cl are removed here ch3coo h is removed but the product formed will be same that is co ch3 that is acetophenol similarly over here product formed will be acetophenol only coming on to like we have chlorobenzene so when acetylation of chlorobenzene is performed again the presence will be same anhydrous alcl3 so in ortho and para position this co ch3 group is attached thus we get two chloroacetophenone and here we get four chloroacetophenone similarly if we have methoxy benzene so again och3 group is ortho para directing so the products formed will be same again it will be cl uh, over over here it will be och3 and coch3 which is two methoxy acetophenone and four methoxy acetophenone So this was about Friedel Craft alkylation and acylation. Coming on to next, which is Riemer-Tieman. In Riemer-Tieman reaction, we treat phenol with chloroform in the presence of sodium hydroxide. So we are taking over here chloroform plus aqueous NaOH. So here, what happens? Intermediate is formed. This intermediate, basically over here, O N A and C H C L two is formed. This is intermediate, which is formed over here. This on reaction with again with N A O H, it forms. Here what happens basically, the C H O H and O H, and here O N A. So this H two O will be removed. We get because um, here basically happens 
Cl is replaced with OH. So here we get ONACHO. Now over here, then on hydrolysis in acidic medium, we get salicylaldehyde. Over here we took chloroform, so we are getting salicylaldehyde. But if we would have taken over here carbon tetrachloride, so then the product formed will be uh, salicylic acid. Moving on to coal base reaction. In coal base reaction, phenol is treated with, we have phenol, it is treated with sodium hydroxide. So thus it gives sodium phenoxide ion, which on treatment with carbon dioxide in acidic medium results in the formation of salicylic acid. So here what happens? OH and COOH groups are formed. This is salicylic acid. This reaction is coal base reaction. Next is Rosenmund reaction. This re Rosenmund reduction, this reaction is basically shown by acid halides like we have CH3COCl. So acid halides or acyl chlorides, they are hydrogenated that is hydrogen is added over catalyst that is palladium with BaSO4. Over here what happens? This group changes into CH3CHO. The same reaction can be performed by acyl chlorides also that is aromatic. So here we have COCl which on hydrogenation will convert this acid chloride group into CHO group. This reaction we studied in the preparation of aldehydes. Next is a Stephens reaction. In a Stephens reaction, we have nitriles like we have RCN. They are reduced to corresponding amines by treating with SNCl2 and HCl. We get over here amine. So amine is a product which is intermediate which we are getting over here which on hydrolysis forms RCHO. This is again a Stephens reaction which we studied in the preparation of aldehydes from cyanides. Moving on to Etard reaction. Etard reaction is toline. This is toline. On treatment with chromyl chloride which is Cr2, CrO2Cl2 in presence of CS2, it oxidizes this methyl group to a chromium complex. Now here what happens? We get chromium complex which is CHOCROCROHCl2 whole toys and which this on hydrolysis gives CH2. Again over here methyl benzene is converted to aldehyde. This reaction again we studied in aldehydes only in the preparation of aldehydes. Moving on to getterman coach reaction. So getterman coach reaction is benzene or its derivatives when they are treated with carbon monoxide and HCl in the presence of anhydrous aluminum chloride or cuprous chloride we get benzaldehyde or substituted benzene we get. This is getterman coach reaction. Clemenson's reduction. Clemenson's reduction is basically shown by carbonyl group that is aldehydes and ketones. So this is carbonyl group which is aldehyde and ketone. These groups are reduced to CH2 group on treatment with zinc amalgam so ZNHG and concentrated HCl thus over here aldehydes or ketones they are reduced to alkenes now let's suppose if we have CH3CHO so here we'll get CH3CH2 
Similarly, if we have CH3, CO, CH3, so we will get CH, sorry, CH3. Here we'll get CH3, CH2, CH3. So this is how Clemenson's reduction is performed where CO group is converted into CH2. Moving on to Wolf-Kishner. Wolf-Kishner reaction is also like same like the Clemenson's. Only the difference is that here carbonyl group of aldehydes and ketones, they are reduced to CH2 but on treatment with NH2, NH2 which is hydrazine followed by heating with sodium or potassium hydroxide. So here first we get intermediate. So this H2O is removed. We get intermediate which is hydrazone which on heating with sodium or potassium hydroxide in high boiling solvents like ethylene glycol thus we get over here CH2 group plus N2 is removed. Now similarly if we have CH3 CHO so first we will get CH3 CH3 CH double bond N NH2 then on treatment with KOH in high boiling solvents like ethylene glycol then heating it so this bond will basically this N2 will be removed and we will get over here CH3 CH3. So in today's video we studied some important name reactions like we studied Friedel-Craft alkylation acylation, riemer tiemann Kolbe's reaction, Rosenmund, Stephens reduction, Etard reaction, getterman coach Clemensons and wolf kishner reduction reaction. Hope you guys are finding videos helpful. So do like, share and subscribe the channel. Thank you.